What's up everybody, I'm Matt Mastrangelo and welcome back to another episode of Silver Screen Scrutiny. Today's movie review will be the first movie I watched in 2020 that I gave a five-star review to. Um, that would be 2014's Snowpiercer from director Bong Joon-ho. Snowpiercer's letterboxed entry reads as follows. In a future where a failed global warming experiment kills off most life on the planet, a class system evolves aboard the Snowpiercer, a train that travels around the globe via a perpetual motion engine. I watched this film on March 26th, 2020. It was right when the pandemic was really taking off and I was alone in Ithaca and I needed something great to watch and I picked this one. Now I gave it five stars and my review says that this was one of the most incredible films I've ever seen. The plot was so interesting and the performances from everyone were perfect. It certainly helped that this was one of the most stacked casts ever, and I felt for the lower class passengers who were ready for revolution. The action was awesome and so well choreographed. I was on the edge of my seat and am unashamed to admit that I was fully vocalizing my reactions while watching this movie alone in my apartment. I cannot wait to revisit this masterpiece. Now, let it be known that on my letterbox, I have logged 1,636 movies, short films, concert movies, limited series, whatever it may be, there's 1,636 things that have been rated. Of those 1,636 ratings, only 19 of them have five star ratings, and Snowpiercer is one of them, meaning this movie must have been good. And on my rating scale, from my half star to five star, I have it all sorted out with half star being awful and five star being perfect. To me, this movie was perfect. One of the things that makes this movie so great is its cast. You have the leading man in Chris Evans with a supporting cast of Tilda Swinton, Ed Harris, John Hurt, Jamie Bell, and Octavia Spencer. Each one of these stars has such great energy that they bring to the movie and put them all together and it's already better than anything I've seen. In one of the best scenes in the entire movie, after the revolutionaries open the door and are faced with the army of axe people, everyone realizes what they have to do. Chris Evans steps to the front knowing that leading this charge, he is ready for anything, including facing masked men with axes. Nothing better than that. He pushes everyone back. Jamie Bell puts the women behind him and all the men step to the front because they know that they're about to fight. And you know it's about to be badass. There's nothing cooler than watching everybody walk forward. I, I don't even, I'm at a loss for words right now as to how awesome this is. Now, I'm not going to show any of the action here because if you want to see what happens, I highly recommend you go watch the movie for yourself. But it's important to understand that what makes this so great is that Bong Joon-ho knows exactly what is needed in order for a revolution to be successful. And that's that sacrifices need to be made. And the passengers on this train are well aware of that. They know that not everyone is going to make it to the front of the train where life is good. There will be casualties. There is always casualties in the revolution. And that idea is shown really, really well throughout the entire movie, but especially in this scene. And that's one of the reasons I love it is this movie is aware of itself. It knows that all the right elements are needed for it to be successful. And it utilizes those elements really well. So listen gang, I'm not too sure how I want to keep doing these videos. I'm not saying I'm stopping, I just got to find my groove a little bit. Um, nobody wants to sit here for 15 minutes and listen to me review a movie, so that's why I don't really know how long to make this video. I know I only really talked about the cast and a little bit of one scene, but I want you guys to watch the movie yourselves and formulate your own opinions. No thanks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here. Um, I hope I intrigued you enough that you'd want to check out this movie. Uh, let me know in the comments and let me know what other type of stuff you want to see because I can just keep doing reviews, but if they're going to be like this, it's going to get stale really quickly. So I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you guys want to see and I will throw in some new stuff 
Let me know what movie you want me to review next. I do really hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Nobody watches this stupid show. But please go watch Snowpiercer. It is a five-star masterpiece. I love it. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Silver Screen Scrutiny.